Hello and welcome to another episode of Cool Chords. I wanted to ask viewers this question today. Do you use the metronome or not when you practice? Me personally, I like to use the metronome. And then I also don't like to use the metronome. So it very much varies from situation to situation. But I'd like to point out some benefits and some not so benefits. With the metronome, you can push yourself. Without the metronome, you can also push yourself. I think the metronome is a good starting point, but then I think it's time to play with others as well and not to judge them based on the metronome, but on the, on the way they play on the field. Uh, you can play metronome games. I think that's very important to swing on the two, one, two, three, four, or the one, um, or try and do really uh, crazy games like put it only on one beat and then you have to get it on the fourth beat of the fourth bar or something like that. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. All these kind of little games are really, really great. Um, but the counter to that is that Joshua Redman, yeah, he doesn't use a metronome uh, and it's Joshua Redman. So you have to um, weigh that up as well. What about the role in the band? I think the drummer and the bass maybe might be worth using the metronome more than, say, saxophone player, violinist, sing, singer, or... Um, well, yeah, you gotta do, you got to ask yourself, what's your role in the band? I mean, Billie Holiday sings a lot behind and once again great sound Billy Holiday so you have to weigh up your own personal goals here as well Mark Juliana says to do everything 50-50 so you know um, Mark Juliana 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 he says to do everything 50-50 so uh to, if you use 50% metronome, make sure you do equal without the metronome. If you do 50% left hand, do 50% right hand or vice versa. I think that's very important as well. Also, Jeff Ballard um, would not use a metronome generally and try and think of the center of the beat in his head and then be out with his own center in his own head. So. So that's sort of getting more advanced is instead of the metronome being the center and you play around with the metronome, the external source, you're playing around with your own internal source there. So that's, and playing with the center of the beat. I think that's, that's quite advanced. Uh, do bands use click tracks? Well, I've played in recordings where they use click tracks and it's quite Interesting, when you listen back, oh wow, everyone was playing with the click, but maybe there wasn't, maybe there was this kind of unnatural push or pull, or maybe it was good, maybe it sounds very precise. Again, it's up to the situation. Uh, does a band play great without a click? Well, in Herbie Hancock's Cantaloupe Island, it was uh, started quite slow, boom, 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 dung, dung, and then by the end it's dum dum gum gum dum gum. But they all go with it. It all feels well. No one's judging each other, and one of the greatest performances of all time. So the band without a click, maybe. So with the metronome, you've got universal mathematical time. You know, it's perfect. It's beats per minute. We know what it is. But without the metronome, you have personal time. With the metronome, you have an external clock. Without the metronome, you have an internal clock. Where would you be? Where, where, where are you with the beat? With the metronome. And in, without a metronome, where are you in relation to the beat? I think with the metronome, the responsibility is with the metronome and without a metronome, the responsibility is with you. Uh, with a metronome, you can play on the grid quite well. You know, teaches you to play on the grid. Without a metronome, you can play around the grid. 
Um, do 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 It's you. It's you have the control. There's still a grid. You can still have a grid without the metronome. With the metronome, I guess you can have accuracy again with the ticka 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 ticka. But without the metronome, you have flow. You have da 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 da. I mean, you couldn't sing an opera with a metronome. You couldn't have... Um, if you ever look at an opera score, it doesn't look the way it sounds. It's, there's these pauses and you, you have to go with the text. So accuracy versus flow. With the metronome, the metronome teaches you tempo. Without the metronome, you become the tempo. With the metronome, you could develop an over-reliance on the metronome. And that's my problem. I use a metronome primarily, but that goes back to the Mark Giuliana. You know, do everything 50-50, I think, is a great is a great sort of equaler, obviously. Uh, without a metronome, you could maybe have too much freedom and then, then you play with others and they, where's this guy's, uh, where's this musician's time, you know? Uh, with the metronome, space is unmoving. It's there. It's always there, constricted. It'll always come back. It's the metronome. Without the metronome, space is free and expansive. It can go as large or as small as it wants. Um, yeah, I, you think about these intros that Joshua Redman does, uh, particularly in his 1994 quartet on YouTube. It's some unreleased stuff. It's just on YouTube. It's fantastic intros. Time, no time, time, octave changes. Just for me, great use of space. Same with some of Joe Lovano's lectures that I've seen. He gets the solo sax. And he, it's in time, it's, uh, it's just, for me, it's just... Time and space personified in Joe Lovano. But I want to know what you think about this issue, if it is an issue. Uh, do you use the metronome or not? And do you have anything else to add? And should I pronounce Mark Giuliana? It, like uh, Giuliana, Italian or Mark Giuliana? What, what does he want? <laughs> what does anyone want? Joe Lovano, Joshua Redman. You know, it's very personal also the, the names of these people. And also it's very personal whatever you do. So anything you do require requires a universal or a personal approach. My name's Hugh Blaines. Thanks for watching Cool Chords.